Today, for your entertainment, I have a really big YouTuber here to do something fun. <music> Greetings, owners of fine luxury cardboard rectangles, and welcome to my guest booster pack opening. When I was at the Christmas party this year, I had the opportunity to meet some people, and I ran into, for the second time, Ken from KBD Productions. Now he is a really nice guy. He agreed to sit down with me and open up a booster pack. For somebody who's never, never really had anything to do with magic, never opened a booster pack. So we will show you that in a moment. Just to let you know what he does. He has a big fat YouTube channel where he shoves the food in his face. He goes to different places and he puts the food in his faces. He has a whole huge selection of videos and he eats all kinds of things and i gotta tell you don't watch his videos on an empty stomach oh i made the mistake of doing that multiple times and i just end up so goddamn hungry like watching him eat like popeye's fried chicken it becomes torture it's like food porn but anyways let us dive in and see how ken fared with that booster pack. Greetings, owners of fine luxury cardboard rectangles, and welcome to our on-site location booster pack opening at the YouTube Christmas event party. I am here with Ken from KBD Productions TV. Yeah, Ken's big dick in the house. This man eats That's everything. That's not what it means. It's not. What it means. <laughs> it's actually I don't know what it means. It's, it's my initials. Oh, there you go. There you go. And he has one, so don't fucking don't believe the hype. All right. Anyways, he has never opened a booster pack of magic. But you, you know what? I do have to throw in here though that he had heard about the fucking drama going on in our communities, guys. Through, through Boogie, like, uh, 20, 20, yeah, 20, yeah. How big? How big is your? How big yeah. is your channel? It's got 380,000 subscribers. Oh, think about that, guys. And he's just, he's in hes in a completely different genre. Like, we're not, we're in two different worlds and they're colliding. It's amazing. I eat food for a living. Yeah, it's straight up. So. My first card opening, right? Gonna, yeah, we're going to do this. Okay, so go ahead, crack it open. Okay. Now, honestly, these these people are jackals. Should, should I just rip them in half? <laughs> see if we can wait, pull wait. Them. I'm not rich enough. If there are good cards in here and you rip it up, I'm going to crack. Right. So let's not, let's not ruin Santa's day. What we'll do is um, the best cards, the ones that matter, <laughs> you want to do a flip it and rip it. Flip okay. it. No, you know what? Not rip it. Just flip it. First of all, you know what? Since you've never, you, let's let's give them an impression of someone who's never opened a magic card. Okay. What do you think of when you look at these cards? Like, what, what, what does this make you think of? What kind of an impression do you have of this game? I come from the world of uh, Dungeons and Dragons from when I was a kid. I played when I was a kid too, brother. When I was a kid, so uh, they just kind of look kind of looked like, I guess, a possible Dungeons and Dragons type thing. Dude, this but, this game was designed to be played uh, like basically it was designed to be played while you're playing Dungeons and Dragons. Somebody's some people are dead. You're waiting for Billy to remake his character. You've got some downtime. You play this in between. But they got so big that they bought Dungeons and Dragons. Holy crap! Yeah, TSR. I have no idea. Yeah, they bought TSR and then Hasbro bought them. But anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt it's your been, impression. It's been, a, been so long since I've played Dungeons and Dragons. I, oh, yeah. I gave all my books to my son and. and uh, I think he's wrecking them by now. <laughs> anyway, but they're all original, uh, original dungeons. Original? Oh, dude, I played second edition. That's yeah. why I started with. All mine stuff. So. Oh, that's sick. Anyway, so in what, like, you talking about quality? Just everything. What is like, your impression of just overall? Not bad. The it's card? got the, it's got the little rounded corners. I like that. Um, pretty cool design. Like, well, kind of, kind of bleak design, I think, on that front. Like, there's nothing super special. No, like, shiny. Uh, what would, like tin foil or whatever on here. You know what I mean, <laughs> yeah. they're just like regular cards. There's nothing super crazy about them. But other than that, it's it's got you know your characters, pictures of what the character I guess is. Yeah. Uh, I'm, like, <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if there's like spells and things. Yeah. Because my kids went like did uh, like Pokemon yeah, tournaments there's... and stuff when they were young. So I, I would just sit there back and watch, make sure they didn't get ripped off by some. Oh, that's good to do, man. Because I can. Or I've seen that happen at the yeah. fucking stores where kids are all flipping tables over Pokemon cards. Right, I've seen that. Yeah. This is this is the card that's supposed to be like the rare, the valuable oh, okay, card. Okay, there's put, one. They put an indicator on there to let you know. It's uh, it's Hour of Glory, which the name makes it sound great, <laughs> but it's a garbage card. But take a look at this artwork. This is supposed to be the Scorpion God killing Ronus, but to me it looks like he's giving him an uncomfortable back rub. Like it looks like the most uncomfortable back rub in the world where he's like, hey bro, this ain't this ain't cool, don't touch me like that. I don't want your stinger. He's, he's trying he's trying to kill the guy uh, in the Bible with his little cane there. <laughs> yeah, 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 through his awkwardness. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I wanna thank Ken 
for being kind enough to come on to MTG Purple. Thank you. And to open a pack. And Thanks, also, Santa. you know what? Let's With the purple uh, hair. Let's. You got. You've got that YouTube fucking stamp on your hand as well. Yeah, that's cool. Let's. Let's. Didn't give, do a very good job. No, I got a good. I got a good one. You know what? Let's give a shout out to Dustin Little since he knows both of us. Dustin, and he you to rock, buddy. Say that he wanted to say hello to you, and he was worried you wouldn't even know who he was. So. Thanks, Dustin Little. Thanks, Dustin, buddy. All right, thanks, everybody. All right, so that was interesting. Obviously, you're going to hear a bit of a different perspective when it comes from somebody who is not part of the Magic community. It was really cool to get to go to this party. It was really nice of Ken to agree to sit down and crack a pack for the show. So make sure to go over and check out his channel. Watch him eat some food. Make sure you eat first or you're at least eating while you watch it or you may be torturing yourself. So, thanks for coming by. Hit that like button if you enjoy food. If your mouth needs food, then hit the like button and I know it does, so do it up. Well, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Get out. Go. This is Ken from KBD Productions. And, and together, we are the sixth color of magic. Magic. Perfect. <laughs>